All right, we got here kind of quick, but anyways, it has come down to this. The final part of South Park Snow Day. First off, thank you all for like supporting this series. It's been a lot to me. I put up part one and I wasn't sure if I'd go all the way, but once I saw like the length of the game, it was kind of nice coming off of like so many games that are like 40 and 50 hours. It's like, if this is like a few hours, I get like a couple videos, get to the ending, I'm good to go. The cutscenes were awesome. The combat was a little tedious sometimes, but I think overall I enjoyed my time with it. Uh, the humor was there. I felt like... If you were going and expecting like the other two South Park games, I could see you being disappointed. But if you were going in like not playing those, maybe you enjoy it. I don't know. Uh, I enjoyed my time with it. It got horrible reviews, but it is what it is. I'm here for the gameplay and just having fun. And I don't really look at the numbers and stuff like that. So, all right. Love you all. Let's go and get this. With the Grand Wizard now returned from his temporary but totally understandable madness, the assault on Mr. Henke's fortress can begin. What horrors await in the ruined bowels? Of I demand to see the Lord of Dark Matter. Come out, Mr. Hanky. We know you're in there. Until you kicked me out of town and canceled me and made me an outcast. And all I did was text some Ambien and tweet a couple bad jokes. They weren't just bad jokes, they were really racist and homophobic jokes. That were pretty funny. The worst part is, you boys weren't there for me. My own friends, they just turned their back. Nuh-uh. No, you turned your back on us, Mr. Hanky. We're not gonna let you keep destroying South Park. Reverse the spell now. Stop this endless winter or we're gonna have to end it ourselves. You're too late. This town and everyone in it has tasted my dark matter. I'm in control now. All I needed was one of you to use my dark magic and build up its power. I'd put my money on Stan, but he fucked it up. And I had to settle for that lame new kid. Look at the way this little turd dresses and his stupid face, so lame. But with my help, the new kid became super OP with dark Christmas magic. By the way, you know that these guys are just using you, right? What? No, we're not. Dude, we gave you a chance. Fuck you, Stan! It's like he's completely lost his Christmas spirit. The final battle begins now with these cards. Now remember, no take bait. Don't you children read the Bible? Leviticus 2. And yay, Jesus took a crap. Leviticus number 2? Uh -uh, that's not a real thing. It's in the unabridged edition. Are you saying Mr. Hanky the Christmas Pooh came out of Jesus' butthole? Holy shit. The holiest. That is the power you're dealing with. So beware his wrath. Let's choose the rare one. I don't feel like it's the best one, but... I like that one. All right, super size isn't that good because I've already tried that once. I'm not sure if I showed that. Or not. I died in like the last chapter once and I might have used it then. I'm really not sure. All right, laser eyes. I think this one right here. So what do we got here, Bailey? Nice, very nice. Free radicals. And some cards to upgrade our magic. Maybe you kids should have prayed a little harder. And the Lord said, protect us from projectiles. Explosive affliction. Lent is upon us. Retaliation blast. Piercing weapons. Uh, that's OP. We going to hell? Hey, new kid, don't believe what Mr. Hanky said about, you know, us using you and stuff. Yeah, we're not using you. You're our friend. Whoa. Yeah, because we're friends, and not because you're way more powerful than all of us. Okay, great. So you're going to go kill Mr. Hanky for us? It's Hell's Best Hospital, new kid. Mr. Hanky's got to be somewhere around here. All right, so I feel like this is going to be a gauntlet. After that last I chapter, I was like, uh-oh. Uh -oh. And everyone in it. You little assholes don't stand a chance. I'm not sure how this is going to go, but here we go. Hell's Pass Hospital. 
I'm gonna play kind of aggressive if I can, but we'll see how this goes first. How much damage will I even do? I'm missing everything. Not too bad. All right, so far so good. It's a Christmas surprise. I feel like this ability mixed with a totem, so you can like possess one. They fight for you, but you can also just attack them. So it kind of gets them out of the way a little bit. And it lasts forever. Look at that. Cheesed enemies. All right. I like the layout of this level already. Better than the last one. <laughs> like, forget about it. It was nuts in that last area. I like how they're nowhere near the healing. So let's go this way. So we're just scaling the entire hospital, which is kind of cool. All right, here we go. I'm assuming the game ends when you see like the snow day is over. <laughs> Like, this is all one day? I don't know. The one perk I got, I don't know which video it was, but I had like the totem that did damage and it healed me. That was insane. They're douchebags with arrows that shouldn't be hard. Let me climb up there. Hold on. How's it going? Oh yeah, the fire just absolutely cooks. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I feel like status effects are the way. Apparently this game has like DLC on the way as well. I may check it out when it drops. I just don't know anything about it. Like what would it even be? Just another chapter, I'm guessing? Let me go back and get the revive, hold on. What? My totem doesn't res anymore because I don't have that perk, but I wish I had that thing permanently. It would be so nice. So it's like the bleed effect stacked with that. I mean, it's like massive damage. You know, at first I was like, does this game need a lock-on feature? And I'm kind of like... Sometimes I feel like it does. Other times I'm like, it'd be way too chaotic, I feel like. Because there's just so much going on on the screen at one time. I think my least favorite enemy so far is like the ranged attacks that hit you while you're actually just like fighting everybody else. The ones, like also the ones in the bubbles. Because you can't do any damage. Most of the shields, they eventually will go down, but the bubble ones, you kind of have to, like, just chip away over time. Hey. Possess them and burn them. <laughs> well, howdy ho, new kid. You want to mess with me? You're in my house now. I think for what it was, though, I had fun playing this game. I think Chapter 4 was pretty tough, but I think everything else has been pretty fine, you know? It's not over-the-top difficult right now, which I'm kind of happy for. Oh, sure. about to see what this does, though, first. Hold on. Misfire. Ooh, I don't mind that one. Silly. I feel like they should have used that way earlier, though. <laughs> Most enemies are almost dead anyways, I think. Still applies bleed, which is insane. Two damage for the win. Let's go. That was funny. Alright. Should be good. 
going up? First, how about an upgrade? All right, we got uncommon. Oh, that's the one. That's the one. Great. That's crazy. He said the exact same Glad thing I did. That's actually kind of scary. I'm not gonna lie. Wait, one of them's dead. Usually we only upgrade and then we like teleport to like the next area. So I'm assuming like we're we're probably gonna have to like. Oh my god. Thought I fell through for a minute. Look how much damage that does. And I don't take any fire damage too, which is actually kind of nice. So they just teleport through the snow, it seems like. I need to go revive four, but it is what it is at this point. Like, how are they going to survive that? Need to keep going. Every time I feel like I got the AI figured out, it just something changes, you know? They're all dead. Not That's good stuff. Wait, they're they're coming back. Is there like a timer? That was kind of odd. Like one of them just popped up. Maybe I got too far away. I don't know. Like I said, I don't know. Like the AI sometimes just like, kind of tricks me a little bit. Why are you so tanky? Oh my goodness. So wait, do we have to kill them all? I feel like when we get to the top, it's going to tell us to eliminate all the enemies or whatever. Oh no. Please. Please. I'm just trying to survive and also actually get some kills, but getting stun locked and they're all like aggro towards me because I'm the only one. It's like a spear. <laughs> just tackle you straight to the ground. Can't do anything. This would be a great opportunity to like to do this. There we go. Because that enemy is nuts. Let them fight for me for a minute. Alright, they all respawn. So it must be a timer-based thing. Things looking up. That's good. I do as much damage as I can before they come back to their senses. Burn them a little bit. Fire and bleed. Absolutely insane. There we go. Woo! That enemy was nuts. Like the damage difference. Uh oh. Hey, we're all healing though. Look at that. Wait, what's poopy oh, trap? Oh no. What is this? Oh, this stuff. Oh, it's gone. Victory on that area. Very nice. Let's keep it moving. So we don't transition at all. It's no use, new kid. South Park is addicted to my Christmas magic. Hey, let's go. Yeah, usually now, like go like a, a climax. 
Ready for your last upgrade? I've got a great selection. Hold on, we'll see what we got. I do say so myself. I've had my eye on that one myself. I mean, this is the one, right? <laughs> this I is so good. Yeah, there's no uh, you think you like loading dark between matter? areas. My army is dark matter. Which is kind of cool, I guess. Oh God! Get off me! All right, got him possessed. We're chilling. Also, put this down and also do damage if they get next to me. Which now they're not, of course they are. <laughs> That damage is disgusting. My goodness. I'm gonna try to save my BS cards until the end, but if I need to use them, I will. We'll just have to see how it actually goes. We're still fighting, hold on. It goes around him a little bit, nice. Oh, come on. It's like they go into the actual, like, snow and then they run away. <laughs> Wait, this is the right way, isn't it? Has to be through here. Yeah, here we go. Now, this is like a loading area. Let me get this chest first. Hold on. What we got? Some more TP? I'll take it. There he is. I don't think he knows we're here. We have to strike. Okay, new kid. You're the one with all the dark magic. Go ahead. Kill Mr. Hank. No, no, wait. What if this is a trap? What if Mr. Hanky needs a human boy filled with dark magic to strike him down so that their powers like mix with his powers and he can rise up and become even more powerful than ever? Shut the fuck up, Cartman. You just don't want to go back to school. Do it, new kid. We're just supposed to strike him down? Oh my god. It's definitely a trap. <laughs> Eric was right. You thought I was asleep, but I was listening. I just needed a human child to get super OP and pissed off and then use their dark matter against me. Ah, uh, I told you guys. Now I'll be unstoppable. Oh, great job, new kid. You fucked us. You guys should have listened to me. And now it's time for all of you to die. This is where they leave their offerings for the Great One. Dark Christmas is upon us. And he has taken his final form. The fuck are you talking about, final form? I'm talking about Shiza Halud. to deal with a bunch of shit. Toilet paper! Yeah, toilet paper! There's a ton of it here! Great! We can use those cannons to shoot it at him! Come on, let's go! That's a cool concept. Alright. This final form is a giant worm. Okay. This is actually crazy. We gotta find the TP, or can I just use what I already have? I gotta actually find stacks of it. Get them, we're not attacking it, that's for sure. Why are they running? I'm trying to just get over there. Why are they so fast? Alright, I got one. Is the cannon just like the one spot? I don't see another one. I thought I lost it for a minute. All right, so how do I? Woo! There we go. Full auto. Okay. 
It's actually pretty awesome. This is gonna hurt. Is this still reviving? I can't even tell. No, it's not. They all died together? Oh my god. It's actually insane. Use my BS card really quick. This is easily the best boss fight in the game. There we go. That's so sick. <laughs> I like that. I should probably put a totem down while I'm shooting. That'd be like the best play, I feel like. We're gonna get the revive too. Hold on. I'm getting cooked. Oh my goodness. This boss fight's really cool, I feel like. There we go. Uh oh, hold on. Alright, I'm gonna get up there and I'm actually gonna. Oh my god, I might get attacked here. There's so many. Alright, going up. Well, I guess I can't. Wait, where'd he go? Is he destroying the tower? Aim the cannon right at the worm. Waiting to. Hold on. Is he like under me? I'm waiting to get like a clear shot. I guess I can't. I don't know. Uh. There we go. How's it going? Hate this. I did so much damage. If we all stay up here for a minute, we'll all just heal. And burn. It looks like we're about to burn. They're all going to die. 100%. Get ready. But they're by one. They're by one. This might be enough. We'll see. Hold on. Is this it? Going up. Nice. This is a phase two. That was tough. <laughs> I don't know why chapter four was so much more difficult than the other ones. And it was just, it didn't make any sense. I ran through this one. again just for wiping your butt. Things are going back to normal in South Park and we're all gonna be all right. All of us except for the thousands who tragically lost their lives. Back to you, Tom. Oh, I've just been told that Tom has also tragically lost his life in the storm. And now, back to you, Kelly. <laughs> it's not that big a deal, Cartman. It's just school. We all have to go. You know, not that long ago, I prayed to God, and all I asked was to not get totally fucked. School isn't that bad, dude. No, no, it's okay. I'm pretty used to getting fucked now. It's just sort of par for the course when you have faith in a higher power. Jesus! Oh, here we go. My children, I am very disappointed in all of you. Wait, what? In all of us? What do we do? Every Christmas, Mr. Hankey brought you happiness and joy. And yet, when he got canceled for his Twitter posts, you would not forgive him. No, oh, that was everyone else in town. We didn't care. And yet, did you stand by Mr. Hankey's side when everyone turned on him? 
everyone makes mistakes, boys. But the only mistake that is truly wrong is not to forgive. It is up to you to correct your mistake. Mr. Hanky? Mr. Hanky, we're sorry. We should have had your back. Yeah, we should have had each other's backs. All this talk about the rules and what's wrong and right. Yeah, if anyone's been a piece of shit, it's been us. Did I don't mean it? Yeah, yeah, we, we mean it, really. We messed up too, Mr. Hanky. Everybody does. Are you sure? We're sure, Mr. Hanky. We love you. Well, howdy ho! Thank you, boys. This is the best day of my life. Now we just gotta figure out how to get the rest of the town to forgive you. I don't care what the town thinks of me, so long as I have you kids. Oh, great. Now we can all be friends again. And maybe sometimes, just sometimes, you can make a blizzard again, so we can have another snow day. Yeah! Maybe, like, right now? Could you, Mr. Hickey? Could we just have, like, one more snow day? Anything for my friends! Howdy ho! sense great dark matter within you all right that was actually a short game but i really enjoyed playing it now chapter four was a little different i ain't gonna lie i was struggling <laughs> but that last mission was actually a lot of fun the boss fight was also really cool i felt like the game to me i it's tough to really describe it because i can't really like compare it to anything else because it's a cheaper game than most of the other games i cover like most games are seventy dollars now USD, and now this is like thirty, but it's also only got five missions and the prologue. But you can also unlock cosmetics. So I'm guessing it's more about how much time you're gonna spend playing it. If you can play it once and you're done, I don't know if it's worth it or not. But I enjoyed my time with it. I think overall it's just kind of like a mindless game. I wanted to check it out. I really liked the cutscenes, and I liked kind of like seeing Cartman talk to everybody about like the rules and the plus ten acts. You know, and the BS cards. I felt like the humor was all there. I wish the game was a little more variety, but I think overall it is what it is. Let's see if there's anything actually unlocked. Let's see. Let's see we got it. Hey, new kid. I started playing the new game with everyone, and it's fun, but do you think it's kind of too easy? Yeah, I thought so too. So that must be the end game. So if you want to like farm cosmetics, that's like the way you do it. But I think for now, thank you all for watching. I'm going to stop here and just kind of Probably try this out on PC with some friends. See, like, the multiplayer. Maybe it's different without bots. Maybe it's, like, a more pleasant experience. But here's, like, the process of how I actually discovered this game. So I was playing Alone in the Dark. And I got that early from THQ Nordic. And I was like, what are the games are they going to have come out? Because I know they, like, have stuff in the past that I've played. But I was like, what do they have coming up this year? And I saw this game. And I was like, oh, that'll be nice to play. And then I saw it was, like, next week, you know? So then they gave it to me, and I started playing it. And I didn't realize it was this type of game, you know? But I wanted to play it because I really enjoyed the cutscenes. I really enjoyed some of the abilities, like the BS cards. The boss fights were cool, except for maybe Kenny's was kind of tough because he kept flying everywhere. You have to, like, wait for him to get done attacking. Then you can actually attack him. But, um, yeah, the final boss was awesome. The Cartman mission, though, was just... I don't know what happened. <laughs> I was struggling. It might have been like the loadout I had. I don't know. The weapon was like really slow and they were also really tanky. So, and it was no status effects. I didn't have the flames. I didn't have the bleeding effect. I feel like what I used on the final chapter was like best in slot, at least from my personal preference. So, uh, overall, I enjoyed it. You know, it's a cheap game. I can't really compare it. It's like weird. It's like there's tiers to if you enjoyed a game or not. Was it free? Is there free to play? You know what I mean? Is it a full price $70 game that also has like microtransactions? There's like there's like levels to it. This being a $30 game when most games are 70, 
I can't really complain. Plus, I also got it for free, so it's like I'm trying to, like, look at it from a consumer standpoint. Like, who would want this? If you enjoy South Park, the story and the cutscenes were awesome. Cartman, the whole thing about getting more snow, and then seeing all, like, the people frozen in the beginning, I was, like, legit laughing. Because I had to mute my mic because I was like, I don't know, it just was so, like, morbid. But Cartman was just worried about his school out, you know? I just feel like... I don't know if the direction of South Park Games is going to be like this, or if they're going to, like, change it down the road, but I feel like... As far as, like, the last three we've gotten, we had this, the Stick of Truth... The fractured one as well. Um, I feel like the two other ones were better than this, but they're also different types of games. So it's like comparing, if you're like a Ninja Turtle game, it's like a beat em up, Streets of Rage style, versus like an action adventure. It's like you may like one more than the other just based off of the genre. So I don't really know how to like really compare it to anything else. But, anyways, love you all. Thanks for watching this series. I guess this is it for now. Probably the shortest game I've covered what was like five videos. <laughs> so much love to all of you. Best audience ever. And I'll talk to you next time. All right. Take it easy.